One of the most important skills in organic chemistry is drawing important resonance forms. So here I've brought three different examples of when you can have problems on tests and quizzes where you have to draw important resonance forms. So the first example is this right here. So this molecule, we have to draw out the Lewis structure in order to tell the resonance forms. So if we try to do this, we have a carbon and it's connected to two hydrogens and it's connected to an OH group. Whenever you see an O and then an H after that, that indicates an OH group. So we draw like that. Now, we have a positive charge on this. Now, if we were to draw the lone pairs on oxygen normally, we would imagine the positive charge to be on the carbon, since it might be missing a third hydrogen. Now, how would we draw a resonance form? Well, in resonance, only electron pairs can move. So, in this situation, we would have to move the electron pair in oxygen and create a double bond with carbon. And so what we would end up having is carbon with its two bonds to hydrogen and now it has its original sigma bond and now a pi bond to oxygen. Oxygen still remains that with a previous lone pair as bond to hydrogen. Now if we were to check the full mar formal charge on carbon it's zero. Now with oxygen since it has an extra bond now instead of a lone pair it actually has a positive charge on it now. So that's a formal charge. It's not a real charge. Now, these two forms go back and forth. So none of these forms can actually be extracted. It's just the behavior of the electrons. Now, which one of these is the major form? Well, we would say that this form right here is, the, is not actually the major form. This is the minor form. So this right here is the minor. And the reason for that is because there's no complete octet on carbon. Octet takes first priority. So this right here would be the major. Now if we were to follow the rules as for these next two molecules, we have oxygen here. Now remember this has two lone pairs and nitrogen also has a two lone pair, uh, one lone pair over here. Now it's not charged, this molecule is not charged, however we can still move the lone pairs. We could, what we can do is move this lone pair right here to form a bond with carbon. Now carbon would have five bonds in that scenario, so it would have to break a bond. And what it could do is break this pi bond and move it on to oxygen. So what we would end up having is a molecule that looks like this. We have a double bond with nitrogen. Nitrogen still has two bonds to hydrogen. It has a positive charge because of one, two, three, and four bonds. And then a single sigma bond with oxygen. And oxygen has three lone pairs and a negative charge. Now, we have these two resonance forms. Which of these is the major form, you would say? Well, this is the major form to begin with because there's the least amount of charge separation between atoms. So this would be best chemically represented in reactions. Now, what about this benzene molecule with this radical on a methyl on it? Well, the, re the way this works is that with free radicals, we don't have lone pairs moves, but we have a, only one electron move to make sure that this radical gets its pair. So this radical is missing one of the electrons. So this these are two electrons right here existing in a pi bond. We could move one of them. One of these could move and form a bond with this radical. And what we would end up having is the benzene molecule where our two, we have our two lone pairs over, or two pi bonds over here, and then we have that one radical over here, and we have a double bond now over on this methyl. So the 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 radical right here got its electron pair. Now now we have a radical on this carbon right here. So what we could do is move this these two electrons right here. We can move one of them and form a bond. So we would end up having is the benzene molecule again with a double bond right here, a radical on this carbon, the bond right there, and the double bond with the methyl. And then we can perform the same thing again where we have two electrons here. We can move one of them, form a bond with this carbon, and we end up having this molecule. And so we would have a bond here, a bond here, and the radical here, or we can draw it here as well. And you got your double bond there. 
Now, which of these is the major form? Well, they're actually all major, all major. So these forms are all equivalent. Now, the reason for that is because they're all on carbons and they're all being shared. They're sharing this radical equally. So this radical is actually almost shared among four different resonance forms. So they're all equivalent resonance forms. So these are just three different examples of how to draw resonance forms when you have a charged molecule, a non-charged molecule, and a free radical.